Hey, great day. This is Sam LeFrancois, Premier Paralegal, uh, also known as your favorite divorce professional. And this is day one. Day one. I haven't even thought of a name to, for this series. It's very temporary. I'm trying to figure it out uh, whether it's something I want to keep doing. But um, just to let you know, I'm at home. Uh, if you watched my intro video yesterday, then you're very aware that I'm not going to be wearing a suit. Maybe sometimes. It depends on what I'm doing. If it's before I go to the office or if it's after a day or maybe in the middle of the office, then I'm just taking a break. Maybe you might find me suited up. And, you know, it's possible. You know, I do like to dress up. But uh, for the most part, that's not the point. I'm not trying to impress you with my threads, right? <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to pretty much get a sense of what you think about the information that I'm sharing. And uh, yes, I am heading to the gym after this. Uh, many of you don't know, but I'm proud to share that over the past year or so, I've lost uh, about 100 pounds. So uh, I'm not a svelte, very muscular guy, but I'm no longer a really big fat guy. I'm actually more of a uh, fat skinny guy or a skinny fat guy. I'm still fat, but I'm on the skinnier side of it. And if you hear anything, you probably hear my kids. I have four children, so it's hard to get around um, the beautiful sound of children making noise. So, um, but I'm pretty sure my voice will dominate. But nevertheless, here we go. I wanna discuss uh, marrying for a green card or divorcing after getting a green card. First of all, I'm not here to judge. I'm definitely not saying it's the wrong thing to do, but I'm also not saying it's the right thing to do. This is your life, it's up to you. Only you know in your heart, and if you're a person of uh, spiritual nature, you have religious belief, that's between you and your maker, um, that's totally up to you. I just want to talk about what I've seen happen, okay? Now, you definitely want to be careful. Uh, when it comes down to this sort of thing, um, some marry for love, and they just so happen to meet a great person that wants to sponsor them and help them obtain their permanent residency card. That's the proper name for what we mostly call a green card, what's mostly known as a green card, right? Um, but then there are some people, and sometimes I can tell, sometimes I can't tell, sometimes they tell me, and I say, don't tell me something I don't need to know. Um, they marry for a green card. I'm not here to say it's a business arrangement, it may just be a favor, whatever the case may be, but I do know and have been exposed to some people who do marry or have married, got their green card, now want a divorce because that arrangement, whatever that arrangement was, is over. But those are aside, all right? Those are, I guess you would call the successful ones, right? Um, the ones I've heard about the most, whether it be through the grapevine, through uh, fellow churchgoers or whatever the case may be, or just my exposure to speaking to so many people is those who got scammed, those who thought they were in love, or thought they found somebody that loved them so much and that person ended up disappearing on them, perhaps robbing them of their time, maybe their finances, you know. And at the same time, it could be very disappointing because now not only are you behind in whatever position that they put you in after putting you through such a tormenting experience, but you're now kind of starting back at square one. Especially if you thought you could get your green card, you saved all this money and now it all went down the toilet. All right. I want to give you a word of advice as a friend. Be careful. You don't always know who you're dealing with. Even in a regular marriage. I've been married for 21 years to my beautiful wife, Itaya. Uh, we've been together. Uh, let's see. We, got, we actually started dating when we were 14. And I'm 41 now. So do the math, right? Uh, so you really don't even get to know your spouse on a normal basis. Forget green card stuff. Forget divorce stuff. It kind of takes you years to get to know who your spouse is because if you're really growing together, you evolve, right? But in the case of when it gets really tense, not only are you trying to get your marriage together and then now you're trying to go ahead and get all this paperwork done, you're about to spend uh, what feels like a million dollars to some legal professional and now you're about to go through the daunting process of being uh, interviewed by immigration it can get kind of confusing, messy for real marriages. It can get kind of very confusing and messy if it, the marriage isn't true and sincere on both parts or even on one part because you don't know each other. And when it comes to matters of the heart and especially when there are finances, when it comes to filing fees and money is changing hands, money changes people, okay? So I wanna definitely recommend as your friend, let's be careful. But at the same time, I've also met personally, I'm happy to know 
some people who did perhaps get married. I'm not for sure, but I'm guessing they didn't quite know each other so well. They got married for whatever reason. Maybe they were smitten. It was love at first sight and they didn't know each other. Or maybe it was friends doing each other a favor, a friend doing another person a favor. I'm sure that happens out there. And guess what? They really fall in love. They really get together. And they may even have kids, but they do develop a life together. So for all those things you need to be cautious about, I also suggest that there are some real happy endings in it also. Notice how this isn't just about divorce, right? But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you really want to be mindful of who you're marrying, why you're marrying them, and make sure, just like any contract, you want to make sure you're both on the same page as to why you're getting into it. Because otherwise, it can be a nightmare. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, comments, you can email, you sub su uh, subscribe below, blah, 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 subscribe, it's like a tongue twister, right? Um, but really take a look into any questions you might have. Before you ask me any questions, ask the person you're with, you know, or seek the competent advice of uh, the legal representative you may already have in hand. But that's all for now. I'll see you tomorrow and we will discuss divorce. We'll talk about how and why your divorce or even your marriage is as unique and as individual and as important as each of our fingerprints. I think you'll like this one. Talk to you tomorrow.